kind of hate Carson Palmer this year, and I can't really blame them because he's had a lot of big clunkers this year. But this week he has a juicy matchup with the New Orleans Saints, so we do have to focus on, on Carson Palmer. And I think a lot of the vitriol towards Carson Palmer comes from his inefficiencies. But when you break things down at home versus on the road, he starts looking a lot better. That's the subject of my second trend here. Um, overall, Palmer is just 23rd in per dropback efficiency on based on number of fires metrics. Um, he averages negative 0.1 passing net expected points per dropback on the road, uh, which is very bad. Uh, it's it's below it's it's negative, which is just atrocious. He would rank 36. Sixth in the league, ahead of just Bryce Petty, Blaine Gabbert, and Jared Goff, if that were his season-long number. So Carson Palmer on the road is woke. But at home, that number drops or jumps up to .22, which for the season would rank 7th, right ahead of Ben Roethlisberger. And to me... That looks a whole lot rosier, and I'm not saying that it's ju- that Carson Palmer is as good as he has been at home or as bad as he has been on the road. That part of that's just the way things have broken this year uh, overall. But I do think that it's an actionable thing that we do like Carson Palmer more at home, and that doesn't mean we just like him individually, but it means we can trust David Johnson more because of touchdown expectation, which is, I mean, why I love him in cash. I think that uh, that's not going out on the huge limb, but it's also why. I I would consider using Palmer at quarterback for this week. We know the Saints are becoming a funnel defense in the opposite way of what Denver and Tampa Bay are because they're fourth against the rush uh, from week eight on and 28th against the pass over that span. Palmer is averaging 299 passing yards per game at home this year. And his only game below 270 was a game they won 28 to three over the New York Jets. So I like Carson Palmer this week. I'm not opposed to stacking him with David Johnson because of Johnson's involvement in the passing game. Uh, What are your thoughts on Carson Palmer at home this week, Brandon? 